so here are the statistics that you can get for an individual student. Um, in order to get all the kinds of statistics, you actually have to run several reports even for just one student. Um, so here's what you'd need to do. So go to reports, add a report. And under activity here, we have a choice between visits, events, and resources. And events and resources are going to be what's most interesting to you. Um, we'll pick resources to start with here. And we can limit to action read, because we don't probably care if students add any new resources. In most cases, they wouldn't be adding any. Period. Um, I'm going to choose within the past year, because I'm using a site here from last August, August 2012. And then under users, we have to go to custom first, and then that will give us the selection for an individual user. So I'll pick on Donna Bailey. And now we'll see totals by user. We don't really need that, because we've got we already have an individual user selected, so we'll wind up deselecting that, and we'll select resource, resource action, and date, deselect user. And then we'll do the presentation, we'll just do table and chart, and you have some options here that you can choose, and you can play with those. Um, let's see, but we'll generate this report to see what it looks like. And then we can see that these particular files and resources were opened and on what date, and um, a total of how many times, and that can be exported. Okay, so let's see what information you get if you choose events rather than resources. Choose events and you can see whether student had, students had any activity in the particular areas, the tools and Sakai that have been created. So you can select all of those or select just some of them, period of time, and remember custom users, particular, um, click the particular user, and then for this case we probably want to get tool and maybe event as well for looking at things like opening quizzes and submitting quizzes that type of thing and then we'll generate the report here and you can see that Donna had mostly resources activity some announcements activity she created a blog and did some uh, work in the forum so that's how you get information for an individual user again you have to go to a couple of spots but it can be done